From the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is 1011's Morning Pulse. Good morning, I'm Danielle Shank with your Morning Pulse for Friday, March 1st, 2024. Developing this morning, the Gage County horses may not go up for auction this weekend. Opona Horse Rescue posted on social media that they received a call contradicting earlier instructions from the Gage County Sheriff for the horses to be in Palmyra for sale by today. As of now, additional details from the Gage County Attorney or Sheriff have not been confirmed. Out west, the Betty's Way fire is now 98% contained. Farmers and residents northeast of North Platte affected by the fire are now receiving assistance from the UNL Extension and local businesses. Farm Rescue is planning on bringing hay to those who need it, while Miller Supply is helping with fencing. And Equitable Bank is pitching in to help with donations. We're going to have some counselors there because we know this is really rough on people. I mean, when you lose livestock, when you lose your house, all those things are really um, hard for people and very stressful and hopefully we can help them with some of that stress. As for the cause of the fire, it's being blamed on mowing in the area. Emergency declarations are in place in Lincoln, Custer and Dawson counties. In the state legislature, a controversial bill addressing homelessness in the state is fueling a heated debate. Under the bill, signs would be posted where street camping is illegal. If people don't move, they could be hit with a misdemeanor. Some say it's unnecessary to deal with unsafe and unhealthy conditions at those camps, while others are calling it cruel and unusual, unusual punishment, saying it criminalizes homelessness. State lawmakers passed a bill allowing pharmacies and public health services to provide safe syringes and needles to curb the spread of infectious diseases. Governor Jim Pillen plans to veto the bill, saying it would hurt communities and result in more drug-related deaths. The bill, passing 30-7, to 7, would not mandate counties or cities to adopt safe syringe exchange programs. Overriding the governor's veto would require the same 30 senators who initially passed the bill. The Secretary of State says a referendum on private education tax credits will stay on the November ballot. Supporters of the referendum want to appeal a law offering tax credits for scholarship donations to private and faith-based schools, but supporters of the school choice bill tried getting the referendum off the ballot, arguing it violates the state constitution. Rounding out your headlines is a check of the seven-day forecast. You've been listening to 1011's Morning Pulse. Watch, listen, stream on the 1011 Now app, on YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts.